Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this first round volleyball match of the Kentucky State Tournament for High School Athletics. I'm Tyler Rowland, and we are coming to you live from Boyd County High School, and what a match this is going to be. We have the Boyd County Lady Lions coming in with a record of 36-4, and, and, and who won the 16th region. And then the Bishop Brossert Lady Mustangs, who come in with a record of 27 and 13, having won the 10th region. I'm Tyler Rowland, and with me is my broadcast colleague, Carrie Cola. And Carrie, good gosh, what an atmosphere. I can't believe that we're here. I'm so happy that, that the state tournament is set up in a way that we're able to be in Boyd County right now. That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, and I'm so excited to watch both of these programs come together today because no matter who wins, a fantastic team is going to be moving forward. So, Very well said. And we are going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Whether it's a snack when you're heading out or restocking when you're heading home, Clark's Pump and Chop is the winning stop. From drinks to an awesome crispy crunchy chicken, Clark's has the best selection, the best prices, and the best staff you'll find anywhere. Clark's Pump and Chop. Return, refresh, refuel. Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. We're back in this matchup for the first round of the Kentucky Volleyball State Tournament. I'm Tyler Rowland, and we're getting ready for a great matchup between the Boyd County Lady Lions and the Bishop Rossert Lady Mustangs. And we are going to go to an interview now as we had the opportunity to catch up with Boyd County Lady Lion head coach Katie Neltner and Bishop Brossert player Kate Neltner. Good evening, everybody. Tyler Rowland here from My Town TV. We're getting ready for this volleyball match, the first round of the state tournament featuring the Boyd County Lady Lions and the Lady Mustangs of Bishop Bossert. And with me here is Lady Lions coach Katie Neltner. And Katie, good to good to be with you here. First off, talk about your your run, 70 and 5 over the last two years. And it wasn't too long ago though that Boyd had had some struggling volleyball seasons just a few years ago. And now how does it feel with you and with the senior class and the program having a real shot to to contend this this week you know i 
did not, and you know, everyone asked me uh, how did it feel to take over the program when you took it over, and I didn't really understand the, I guess, the whole picture of when I first took over Boyd County, which is fine. So when people quote stats like that, like you said, 70 and 5, I mean, I can sit down and logically look at our record and I can, you know, count it up, but to just keep a tally, I don't really. So hearing numbers like that, I mean, these girls are nothing short of impressive. Uh, they've played together now for so many years. So, you know, just to see them back on their home court for the semi-state game, the Sweet 16 game, you know, the when COVID hit, one of the great things that came out of it is it gives those RPI winners um, a home court advantage. So, you know, our girls earned it. Our girls are going to play this, this semi-state game at home. So, And with your players, talk about – but talk about your senior class. I know that you've had the, a lot of opportunities to brag on them. I'd love to hear you. You, sh you sure think very highly of them, and, and it shows. Sure. You know, I have seven seniors this year, and I kind of think five of them have been with me for the past six years. Everyone else came after that. Bar one, Lake and Roach came in a few years. She did some cross country there for a couple years. So and we got her a little bit later on in the process. But, you know, when you get to be with someone for six years, and I've watched them grow up from tiny little things and, you know, kind of like deer in headlights, no idea what to do on the court, to just strong, intelligent females and athletes. I mean, it's just a great thing to be a part of. These, I mean, they are just intelligent on the court. They're intelligent in the classroom. They're fantastic human beings they care about people you know they're always out in the community doing things and I think that's huge that's a you know one of the reasons they're so successful is because it's never about me it's always about what I can do for someone else and that's just the mentality that they have and and with the with this with, with this program talk about because one other thing that you've accomplished and again going into numbers but You've been 38-0 in the region the past two years. And when you look at some of the teams in that region, Ashland is in the uh, has cracked the top 20 of the RPI at times. Raceland has made a turnaround somewhat similar to what you all made at Boyd. And talk about, um, it's the same question I asked Kate, but talk about the the region and just what a, what a difficult road it was just to get here. Well, you know, volleyball, just like any other sport, it ebbs and flows with, you know, whoever is the powerhouse at the beginning of the season. You know, just because we start out strong doesn't mean we end strong. Just because we start out weak doesn't mean we don't end strong. So, you know, it depends on the classes coming and going. It depends on the experience that you have, the club seasons that they have. And so, you know, in this region, you never really know who the top contender is going to be because you never really know who that next class coming up is. And you know, there's a lot of new girls, a lot of new faces when I look across the net. A lot of the girls that I knew initially coming out, they've graduated. They're going on to college programs. They're graduating from college programs. So six years now I'm seeing, you know, my first set of girls graduating, have graduated. So, you know, it's always great to see new faces across the net. It's always great to see the potential that the teams have. And you just never really know until you get on the court with them what exactly they can bring because there's just so many new girls in the region. Okay, we will very much appreciate your time, and and be sure to be sure to stay tuned. We'll have an interview with Bishop Brosser player Kate Neltner coming up here shortly. Good afternoon, Tyler Rowland here with My Town TV. We're getting ready for this first round of the state tournament in volleyball as the Boyd County Lady Lions get ready to take on the Bishop Brosser Lady Mustangs. And with me here is one of the players from that Bishop Brossert team, Kate Neltner. And Kate, good to be with you here. First off, talk about your your road to the to winning the the region and just what a what a year it's been for you all. Just the first time in, in forty eight years of volleyball and you have the opportunity for the to go to the state tournament. Um, it's been an incredible run. Um, we worked extra hard these past two weeks. Um, we put in the hours after school. Um, every single day working extra hard um, it's incredible like it's still unreal to us that we're here and we want to continue this journey so yeah. mm -hmm. and Kate one of the things that's so phenomenal about what you all have accomplished I think is you only have one active s senior right now and I know you're missing your your setter cider but um, she there's been an eighth grader step in and uh, and it's just phenomenal I think of course you're a sophomore and your middle blockers a sophomore some young players out there but how despite how talented you are how have you been over been able to overcome the being such a young team 
Um, we had our team from last year almost, so um, our cohesiveness and our chemistry really helps. Um, from last year, we didn't start out with a complete new team, so we had to build that up. But um, Aubrey, she stepped up to the plate. She's our setter, and she really did. Mm -hmm. So she put in the extra work when she knew that she needed to because Vanna got hurt. And talk about your district. Um, you come, yeah, and your region as well. You come from the 10th region, and I know you have a very difficult district. This is the first time, I believe, I believe it was 2018, the last time Bishop Brossard advanced out of the district, and um, and it took two, th three, two sets to do that. Um, talk about just what a difficult district and region you're in and some of the competition you play. Yeah, so we have um, Campbell County and Scott, which are two incredible teams. Um, they have a lot of talented players, and so um, we had to put our game faces on and um, work extra super hard. And we knew that we came out, we wanted this for Bree, and we wanted this for each other. And um, we played to our ability, and we, we came to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And, and talk about Coach Bree and what it's like playing for her. Um, I personally love Coach Bree. I think she's a wonderful coach. Um, she's incredible. She know she she has that personal bond with you, so you know that you can come to her with anything, and um, she knows what she's talking about. So she can really correct you on your mistakes, and she's just phenomenal. I I love her. And what what do you like in particular about the school and the community at where you're at? The community at Bishop Rosser community is so kind loving. Um, you can go to any sports game and just say hi and they'll give you a nice big hug and it's just it's a warm loving community and I love that. So. Yes, and lastly Kate are there any shout outs you'd like to give? Um, I'd like to shout out to my family um, especially my mom and my dad who have been supporting me through all of this. Um, I know that they believe in me and that's really important to me. So. And then my brother, who's also my biggest supporter. So. Yes, very well said. Well, Kay, we thank you for being on. Kate Neltner of Bishop Prosser. And be sure to stay tuned. We'll have this game between the Boyd County Lady Lions and the Bishop Prosser Lady Mustangs here shortly. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. When you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Man, there's water everywhere! Stay calm, we're on our way! Was that in Vanaman? Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you, and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy and so much more. You're on the move, you're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now, get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. County High School. Hope you enjoyed the interviews with Boyd County head coach Katie Neltner and Bishop Brosser player Kate Neltner. And we are going to talk a little bit about the teams now. First off, starting out with a home team, Boyd County. 
Boyd has a record of 36 and 4 on the season. They've only lost a total of 13 in sets. They have the past two seasons. They have been 70 and 5, and that comes against some pretty darn good competition. And we are, but this year, um, coming into the year, Boyd lost Morgan Lewis and Layla Brown, who are key players on that team. Morgan Lewis, who had 320 kills last season. Layla Brown, who had right around 800 assists. And then an unfortunate injury happened to middle blocker Audrey Biggs, who was a big part of that one last season. And losing her for the season to injury hurt this program. But the Lady Lions had a lot of fight in it. They were behind play of Emma Sparks, Carly Mullins, um, Lindsey Eakers, and many others on this team. They would go on to win the 64th district, again capping off a second year in which they were undefeated in the 16th region, second year in a row, by winning that over Raceland last week. And the Lady Lions, who were struggling to win in volleyball just a few short years ago prior to the arrival of Coach Katie Neltner, are now one of the top teams in the state, ranked number three. And, Kerry, this should be uh, – this is definitely a game that they have the opportunity to come out victorious. Absolutely. I, um, they are representing the 16th region so well, and it's been so fun watching these girls this season. I know that um, they've worked so hard, and Coach Neltner is a phenomenal coach with a – just crazy amount of volleyball knowledge in her head it is it's so neat just the way that she will I know we call it the Neltner timeout but just the way that she (laughs) understands the way that a teenager's mind works on the floor and the second that you know they start to get down you'll you'll never really see this team necessarily get into a rut because Neltner just doesn't allow that that type of behavior on the court and it's really cool um, to watch her connect with the team and to watch the team connect with her Um, it's very obvious why she is consistently the coach of the year. So I'm excited to see what they bring to the table tonight, Um, especially their seniors. It's, uh, you know, they're going to be fighting really hard to keep this season going. So, Yes, this senior class, the the first one to, I guess, fully run through with Katie Neltner there. They, They started playing for her 2017, which was their first year coaching, and, and and they they played and and they've been a big part of this program um, the past few seasons and of course we'll look at looking at some of the numbers one of them being you have Emma Sparks up front Emma who is leading the team and could pick up kill number 350 tonight she's the all-time kills leader at Boyd County and on the defensive end you have Lindsay Eakers and Eakers has uh, well over 1,000 serve receptions and right around 1,500 digs for her career as well. Eakers widely regarded as one of the best liberos to go up against. And then serving, they do an outstanding job. You have people like Sophia Gifford that have a 97% serve percent. And, Carrie, this is this is this represents the package of a team that could potentially go on and, and win it all. Absolutely. I mean, each place on the court, they are covering really well. Um, all, like you said, I mean, having a a, serv- a s- record of service errors like them is awesome because it's so low. And we saw Gifford serve so many aces in the past couple of games that she's played that um, I hope that we get to see some of those tonight as well. And, uh, you know, their hitting is phenomenal. Number two, Taylor Bartram is an absolute mm-hmm. joy to watch, and uh, I just I can't wait to see her out there tonight. Yes, Bartram with 331 kills on the season, 72 aces, and that is uh, so far on the kills range. She is six more and counting from what she picked up last year when she won 16th Region Player of the Year in 2021 with 325 kills. That's, right? Wow, and she's missed That's a awesome. few games to injury this year, so. That's uh, that's really, really telling of her. And then Carly Mullins, 236, 232 kills, 26 blocks on her end. Carly has done a great job stepping up in the absence of Audrey Biggs. Carly, who was originally going to do, do a lot of the outside hitting this year as well, but she has had to step in and play middle blocker quite a bit in the absence of Biggs, and she stepped up quite well. 
So we are going to take another break. We thank you for tuning in. We're going to come back here shortly and talk about Bishop Brosser. You're watching My Town TV. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. back here on My Town TV, getting ready for the fr first round of the KHSAA Volleyball State Tournament in this match between the Boyd County Lady Lions and the, the Bishop Rosser Lady Mustangs, Tyler Rowland along with Carrie Colop. And Carrie, we'll talk about Bishop Rosser a little bit. And first off, for starting the, to, to go through their, their year, um, this this is the 48th season of volleyball for Bishop Rosser and the Lady Mustangs here are coached by Bree Velasquez and they started off the year 6-1 and one, and of course would go on. They had some rough points during the year but when you look at some of their history, they've been a, a competitive program in what has been a difficult 10th region and like the 64th, you have three of the top five teams in their district uh, of, of Scott, um, Brossert, and Campbell County. And so they've had, it's been a struggle just getting out of their district, which the, which the last time they got out was 2018. But they sure made a goal to make a, make a big bang in the region this year, and they sure have. The, the Lady Mustangs have not won a dis, the district since 2003. They would defeat Scott in five sets to do that. It also took them five sets to get to the regional tournament, and they would also defeat district rival Scott to win the region three to one, and now are in their first ever state tournament appearance. And what's the, the and you see a you see some similarities, but also some big time differences between these two teams, Gary. And one of them is for for Bishop Brosser. They they only have one active senior right now. That is Ava Thomas, and. And you, you look at the team and who they have, the, have um, I mean, it's a very talented bunch, but um, it, it's one of the things where they've had to do this, and as talented as they are, Blackburn up front, she will likely get her 400th kill tonight. Um, you look at, of course, Kate Neltner on the outside, 200 kills for her. And then um, and then, then you have, then you have all, an eighth grader, playing for them as well. Wow. So, um, yeah, you have an eighth grader getting significant minutes at the setter position. So you look at the youth of this team and what they've been able to do to be able to break through something that the school historically has never been able to, that's just remarkable. And you know they're going to be looking to, 
looking to try to get it, come in here and get a win tonight. Absolutely. I think for a team having a, a young setter like that and for the future of that program is phenomenal. Just the backbone of every strong attack is a set. I mean, you just you can't – a team can't function offensively without a strong setter. So that's awesome for their coach that they're able to have someone that's already that promising at such a young age and all of the – Hitters look to be sophomores as well um, with just a few juniors. So I, I don't think that this will be – this might be their first time in the state tournament, but I don't think it will be their last. Yeah, such a such a promising crew that they have. And you look at how they've, they've picked it up right at the – right when they needed to. They have what, This is a team that you see 27 and 13 and a darn good record to have. But even more so, they have won 15 out of their last 17 matches. Wow. So, well. Um, well, I'm really excited that we get to witness them play here tonight. That's awesome. Um, it says a lot for their their program, and this is a big deal for their school. And um, I know we all love a good Cinderella story, so this will be a good game to watch. Yes, and, and you look at the, the background, Coach, Coach Velasquez for – for Bishop Rosser, she comes from played for Notre Dame Academy, went and played at Adelphi University in New York. So she's played at the college level, came back and worked again with Notre Dame Academy as an assistant, and and now look, of course, in her fifth season at Bishop Rosser, she has them at a level that they've always strived to achieve. Absolutely, and also, I mean, coming to this school and. Breaking their school history this season with, you know, 27 wins is is a lot. and says a lot about her coaching style, and um, I know they're definitely lucky to have her. Yes, and, and that's, a, that's a good point you bring up because when you see what this team had to overcome, like Boyd County, a, a similarity these two teams have with their with their with their teams is that um, um, the, with the, the similarity they have is that. Audrey Biggs got hurt for Boyd County, we mentioned in the prior break. And and then for Bishop Brosser, they lost their setter, um, Savannah, Savannah Sider, who is one of the seniors on this team. That's why I mentioned they only have one active senior, and that's what forced eighth grader Aubrey Rebholz to step in and, and play play where she's played. So, And they, they've stepped up and done phenomenal. Oh. And we are going to, as a PA announcer, getting things underway here. We're getting ready as the officials are coming out. And the two teams are going to line up. We're about 30 seconds until the introduction for lineups. And for, but we will be doing shortly the introduction, the national anthem. Um, any final thoughts, Carrie? Um. Not really. I'm just. I'm so excited for the game to start. We've all been up here for about an hour or two hours, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> just waiting on it. And I'm. I'm really excited for it. So I know the girls it must be. You know, times four hundred thousand of that excitement. But yes, that's, that's going to be a great environment. Um, Boyd County, talk about bringing the house. They sure brought the student section tonight. Oh my gosh! Look at all the signs. I love that. Like I always say, it, it means a lot to me just to see people caring about volleyball. What a great sport. It's the best sport to watch. It is. And a, a nice Bishop Brosser crowd as well, given the distance they had to travel. Um, so definitely. A- Absolutely. Look at that. A lot of green over there.
to introduce the lineups and do the national anthem. We'll turn it over to the court. think tonight. <laughs> no, no, we will not be. We it, will. it is yeah. very energized and very loud in this gym, and I love that. Yes, what an atmosphere. And also a big shout out to Andy Goble sitting next to us on production. A big shout out to Chris Pullum and to Jeremy Sutherland. 
on camera. Yeah, Chris Bolton showing off Absolutely. the Hulkster muscle as we're getting ready to get this one underway here in the first round of the KHSAA State Tournament for Volleyball. And two good teams going at it. As for Boy County, we're going to look at their lineup up front. You have Carly Conley, a junior. Taylor, number two, she's number one. Number two, Taylor Bartram, a junior. Number four, Emma Sparks, a senior. Number 19, Carly Mullins is in the back, a senior. Number 14, so Sophia Gifford, a senior. Number 11, Allie Caldwell, a senior. As a libero, Lindsay Eakers will come in for Carly Mullins. Eakers, a senior. For, uh, for Bishop Brossard, up front in the middle, you see number 13, Corin Blackburn. Number seven on the outside is Kate Neltner. And you have number three, that is Aubrey Rebels. In the back row, you have the libero, number 11, Maddie Kramer, Kramer a junior. Number 24, Cece Fearman, a junior. And number 15, Ava Thomas, a senior. And I miss Nel Neltner and Blackburn are sophomores. And Rebels for, for Bishop Rosser is an eighth grader. So now serving will be number 11, Kramer, and she hits it across. Carly Conley, she goes to Bartram, hit back by Kramer. Wow. Gary, you normally don't see one of Bartram's hits get rejected like that, but they were ready for it. And that was Blackburn on, on the block. So they'll get another shot at it here. And Boyd County, they go to Sparks from the middle as Fearman hits it, and it's Goes across to Eakers, Carly Conley. She's going to go to Emma Sparks again Ooh, to the nice back. Five. And it was. Five. So kill for Emma Sparks. Emma starting the game off, showing off that six-year uh, veteran knowledge there. Yeah, it was Carly Conley, the junior, will serve. She opened up with three straight aces against Raceland. Blackburn will get the kill. Corn Blackburn coming in to sit and sending a message early as Bishop Rosser takes the two to one lead and checking in for them will be number 17, Kayla Hesse, a junior. Out will go Fearman momentarily. As Kate Neltner is serving for Brosser. And this one goes across and Neltner will get the ace. Katie Neltner timeout. Yeah. And, well, Coach Katie Neltner avoid the similarity. Oh, yeah. Coach Neltner. <laughs> they, call it, uh, they call it timeout. I was like, yeah, I was like, because well, uh, I saw it. We mentioned timeout. I'm like, is this early? Wow. So she's yeah. doing one of her patented timeouts, and you can see she's not happy early. But. Well, you know, and also for Boyd, they've been so far ahead of the rest of the teams that they've played this whole season that – you know, this is the state tournament. This is the beginning of the best teams in the state coming together and playing against one another. So there's going to take a couple of points of adjustment there to, you know, wake up a little bit and remember, oh, oh, this other team is just as good as we are, and we're going to have to play our best. Yes, yeah, a Blackburn for Bishop Rosser. She has a block and a kill so far, and she is approaching 400 kills on the season as only a sophomore. As Kate Neltner back to the player for Bishop Broster will be serving now. And she hits it across. It goes over to Gifford. Carly Conley, she goes up to Caldwell from the outside. And it's hit by Thomas. And they go to the outside to Hess. A good job by Carly yes, Conley. And Sparks hits it way back. And they go to Blackburn. Soft tip over to Caldwell. Taylor Bartram from the outside. And it goes off to Hesse. Neltner keeps it alive. And free ball coming for the Lady Lions. Carly Conley, she goes up to Caldwell. And that's way back. Good hustle from Neltner to get there. Blackburn tips it across to Conley. Caldwell goes up. Taylor Bartram. She was nice. Kill number 332 on the season for Taylor Bartram. <gasps> oh, she's going to call Bartram under the net. Oh, wow. Actually, I stand corrected on that, so... Wow. Wow. So the end of the net will give that one to Bishop Rosser, who now takes the 4-1 to one lead over Boyd. We haven't seen a lot of those calls this season. 
Yeah, we really have them as they go up to Bartram from the other side. Hustle to get there, and it's oh, kept. Oh, wow. I thought they were going to send that back with they one almost, arm. Wow. <laughs> and this a Bishop Rossett team that has come a long way, set 15-2 in their last 17 games as number 10, Sydney Clark, checks in for Boyd County. Out will go Gifford momentarily. It's good to see Clark back, who tweaked her ankle a little bit in the regional tournament as Bartram serving now. She has over 70 aces on the year. Hesse batted back by Caldwell and kept alive. Eakers goes up. Conley's going to Sparks from the middle, tipped over. Hesse bats it back. Caldwell back to Sydney Clark from the outside, and that'll go out. So point for Bishop Rossell. Number three, Aubrey Rebels, the eighth grader, will serve. She hits that over, and Eakers to Sparks, who gets it over the net. And they go to Blackburn again, and, and they're going to call, oh, they're going to call a carry. Across Blackburn, they go to her. Oh, oh, just on the back line, but such a good idea. Yeah, boy, the past couple of possessions really trying to attack the back end of the defense. It's number six, Peyton Parker, the junior, checks in for for Bishop Brosser. And for Boyd, number 19, Carly Mullins comes in. Eakers with it now, and Boyd going to Caldwell on the outside, hitting air, and Bishop Rosser taking a four-point lead early. And both teams have their strongest hitters in the back row right now, too. And this is Blackburn serving. She hits it across to Eakers. Carly Conley goes up. She's going to go to Mullins from the outside, dig by Neltner. Rebels tips it. They go to Blackburn, hard hit, and layout. That'll be a hitting error. The boy will collect their fourth point here. And now number 11, Allie Caldwell, the senior, will serve for the Lady Lions. Caldwell is heavily involved in the community and helps out at our church serving people who are, who are in need of food. As Carly Mullins, that looks wow. wow. You know what? I said both teams' strongest hitters are in the back row, and Carly Mullins told me to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you stand corrected. <laughs> yeah, Mullins just came to She's kind of almost hidden in there. And then, <laughs> she is. Yep, she is. Is Caldwell now serves it across to Neltner. Rebels goes up. She gets it to the outside to Parker. Caldwell, Sidney Clark outside hitting, and Neltner. Rebels, they go to Hesse, and I think that was in. That was an awesome spot. That's really hard to cover. Nice hit by Kayla Hesse. Hesse, who has 160 kills coming into the night, is that one. That'll be Boyd's third hitting error. Which is something we don't see um, very much of from Boyd, especially this early in the set. So, but I'm sure these girls are so nervous. I mean, like I said before, this is a state tournament. You know, this isn't just a for a regional game or a district game anymore. All right, a second block gets the goal. Clark, a junior on this team, and as Sophia Gifford getting ready to check in for her and for. For Bishop Brosser, number 24, CeCe Fearman checking in. Fearman, a junior. But, and Gifford, he fill, filled in when Clark was, her ankles a little bit hurt in the regional tournament. But um, Gifford came in, and Gifford, who had 110 kills two years ago, came in from the outside and did a, picked up her first couple kills of the year. Kate Neltner from the outside. It goes over to Bart from Caldwell. Back to Bartram, and she won't be denied that time. She'll get her second kill. 
Bartram with two kills now. As Bishop Rossa retains their, their lead, though, at 9 to 7. Gifford serving again. And this one goes across <clears throat> to Kramer. And Neltner from the outside. Over 200 kills on the year for who? Her. Caldwell. Bartram goes across. Good dive from the outside. That'll be Taylor Bartram serving kill. Look at this poster that Bishop Rosser has over there. It's a trophy. (laughs) That's cute. That's really cute. That is. Got to love the love the the time people put to make. I know the fandom for volleyball this year is my favorite (laughs) thing that's happened in a long time. And Mullins from the middle. And that's a kill. There you go. I can hear her dad Mo doing one of his booyahs up front <laughs> as she gets that kill. Mo, who's been a big help to us on statistics this year. Much appreciation to him as now Gifford serves as Boyd on a 4 0 run. Yeah. Oh, and we're tied up. Gifford across, and they go back to Neltner from the outside. Bartram with it, Caldwell. Back to Bartram, soft tip, tip back over. So now they're going to Bartram again. Hard hit. Oh, they got it over. Oh, no. And a carry on. And that is a second carry on on, on Jason Rosser. I can't hear us think right now. <laughs> yeah. It's loud. It is very loud here. Coach, Veles- Coach Velasquez has seen enough. And we also would like to take the opportunity, first off, for Bishop Rosner to say thank you to Coach Velasquez for the time she spent getting us information and helping us with her team. And also a big shout-out to one of her assistants, Sydney Bragg, who played volleyball at Thomas Moore University and wish she could be here tonight. And Coach, yep. Coach Velasquez on the team wanted to wish her the best and prayers for a safe delivery. And, and she's being induced, for those of you that don't know. She's being induced, yeah. having a baby. That is exciting. uh, Maybe that baby will have a Halloween birthday. That would be fun. (laughs) That's fun. It is Halloween. (laughs) And no costume. Oh, there are some costumes in the student section. Give her a good hustle from Kramer. Cross is called well now. She's going to go back to Mole. Wow, what a powerful hit. Three kills for Carly Mullins. Boyd now with a two-point lead. Boyd picking up some steam now. And Gifford will go at it again. And they were best at their regional tournament when she was serving. This is a strong rotation for Boyd. Caldwell. Conley. Bartram. Point. I love watching Kayla Bartram read the court like that. I mean, she had the perfect approach there for a huge kill. But instead of going for something flashy, she put it where she knew it was going to be a point, and that, that's a strong player. Yes, that's a good point, Carrie. As Carrie says, they go back to Kate Neltner, and oh. Kate Neltner will get the point for, for Bishop Rosser, stopping the Boyd County run, and they're going to give it back to Ava Thomas, the senior, who will be serving. Thomas hits it across to Eakers. Caldwell gets it. They're going to go for Bartram again. Hard hit. That's five kills for Bartram, Terry. Awesome. No surprise there. No surprise. That's who I want to get going if I'm Boyd. That's huge. It's the senior Carly Mullen serving, and that'll be a service error. First for either team so far. So now number 11, Maddie Kramer, the junior, will serve for Bishop Rosser. Two-point lead for Boyd County. Kramer hits it across to East. Caldwell goes up. Bartram the tip. And good hustle from Kramer to get back there. Neltner keeps it alive. And that might have been in. That was uh, Tough ball to judge. I gotta say though, as a rule of thumb, always play it if you're unsure. That's true. Yeah, but yeah, that goes. 
tough ball, perfectly places. Caldwell now going up. She goes to Emma Sparks, and Kramer gets it. They go to Neltner from the outside. Caldwell tipping it up. She goes to Barton. Wow! Six kill. What an adjustment in the air, too. That <laughs> set was a little far out. It's awesome. Now Carly Conley serving again. She goes up and across and a hard hit. That was a powerful hit. Meltner, I believe, yeah, got that Yeah, she is one. a really strong player. That was a hard hit from there, and she had one from the outside earlier, too. Now the sophomore with over 200 kills on the season. We can see why. Yeah. <laughs> She gets ready to hit this one across. And it goes to Gifford. Conley goes up. Emma Sparks from the middle off of Kramer. Kept a lob by Hesse. Oh, free ball there. Oh, it's back to Emma Sparks. And that might have been. Oh, yeah. That first, I thought it was a difference. In, I think the know, Bishop Ross yeah. coach also thought that that was in. So. All right, we're tied up. I, wow, great. Tyler and I are both standing. <laughs> Conley going up. Bart oh, from the yeah. Wow. Bartram wow. said, I'm not going in the back row without another kill. <laughs> Taylor Bartram, her average per set, 3.61 kills. Tonight in the first set so far, she has seven. Number 10, Sydney Clark checking in as Gifford goes to the bench momentarily. And Bartram will now serve, and the junior throws it up. Cross as Neltner gets it. Eakers now, she goes to Carly Conley. On the head to Caldwell, dig by Neltner. Rebholz gets it, she goes back and duck yeah. and a carry on Boyd. Yeah, I thought they were gonna run a one ball in the middle there. Bishop, but, which I would I would really love to see out of them because they have such a tall middle hitter. So I would love to see a one. But so far, not yet. Sparks across that oh, one. Oh, man. I thought that was in. Close that one. Go to that one. Now Brossert retakes the lead. And Katie Neltner oh, wants, the boy wants a timeout. Nel Neltner not happy with her team right now. As Boyd, who picked up a two-point lead, retake or retakes. Or Rosser came back to retake the lead. But wow, what a what a game it's been so far, Carrie. I know, such a good matchup. It is. You, you have so far. It's I feel, fun. I feel like one thing Boyd has done really well so far is you had, of course, Blackburn coming in for. Bishop Rosser early, she had a block, she had a kill on the first two plays, mm -hmm. and they seem to really be trying to keep her from getting getting a look at the ball. Yeah, and you know, it, Boyd is really good about um, placement on the court, and we've seen that so much this season. And I think we've actually seen a lot of free balls from Bishop Rosser due to Boyd's placement and trying so hard not to let them get a strong first pass for a really strong set because, like I said, they have such a tall middle hitter. Um, and uh, it's a lot easier if she doesn't get to see a hit. <laughs> yeah, as Blackburn, a sophomore, standing right around six foot three. Awesome. Yeah, she's a really good. Sydney Clark, she'll get the hole in the defense. As a tall girl, I love another tall girl. So yeah. I'm excited to see a six three high schooler down there. Yes, and Blackburn, no doubt about it, pushing not too far from 100 blocks, almost 400 kills on the season. Sparks now hits it across, and back to Blackburn goes Bishop Rosser, and she'll get the point. So, job by her as, as Rosser retains the lead, and Blackburn will go back to serve now for the Lady Mustangs. This one goes across to Bartram. And Conley goes up. Mullins from the outside. Dig by Blackburn. Rebels goes to Hesse. Dig by Eakers. 
Conley, she's going to go back to Mullins from the middle, tipped over to Neltner. Rebels goes up, and Hesse over the net, dived by Conley. And we're back and forth here in this one, and Mullins hard hit. Put it away. Four kills for the senior as we're tied up at 17 here in the first set. Really good game, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a, what a crowd, what an atmosphere. Allie Caldwell now hits it across to Kramer. Rebels goes up. Hesse from the outside hits the net, looks like. Just chipped it as it goes. Sydney Clark again, partially deflected. Kramer with it to Hesse. Hard hit over the net. As Way to be there, Sydney Clark. And wow, batted back by, by Parker. Good use of her hands at the net. And a dive. from their center. Yeah, wow. That was, that was, that was from Conley. From, it was Conley or Caldwell that got it. I was looking in another direction. We'll take it, though. It's um, Will Caldwell, though, hitting it across as Boyd retook the lead. Barker from oh, the outside. That one goes out. It's a good hit, though. Peyton Parker, the junior, showing her hitting skill, but she sure has... And the Suns couldn't quite keep it in. As the senior hits it across, Rebels goes up. They go to Hesse from the outside, dig by Eakers. Caldwell to Sidney Clark from the outside, dig by Neltner. Rebels sets up Hesse, oh, and wow. Hesse will get nice the kill for her team. She's a strong hitter, and she doesn't have to jump. That's great. Very yeah. uncommon. Yeah, she has excellent power behind her arm. Absolutely. That's for sure. As number 18, the sen- one of the seniors, Laney Blevins, checks in for Con- Carly Conley for the Lady Lions. As now Hesse getting ready to serve, and she hits this across, and it goes to Blevins. Caldwell's going to go up, sets up Mullins at the middle, hit across to Kramer. Rebels gets it. She goes to Parker off the Eakers, but Bartram keeps it alive. And Caldwell, free ball coming for Bishop Rosser. Rebels goes up. She goes to the outside to Thomas as Caldwell goes to Clark. And Essie gets it. Rebels to Parker. Caldwell, free ball for Boyd. Carly Mullins with the kill. That's in. She's on fire tonight. She really is. Yeah, five kills for Carly Mullins. As now, as now number 14. Sophia Gifford checking in for Boyd. And Hesse goes out for Rosser. And I think that was, you know, I missed one. I think that was Fearman that came back in. But that'll be, this will be Sophia Gifford serving. And one thing, um, she's good at reading a defense. Ironically, one thing she loves to do in her spare time, she likes to read. Aw. <laughs> I love that. As they go up, Bartram. Big kill. Eight kills for Taylor Bartram. Woo. And a timeout taken, so. Wow. <laughs> you can feel the intensity. I there. know. <laughs> wow. I really like Bishop Brosser, Brosser's, um pom poms over there. They almost, they're so vibrant, they almost look like they light up, and I love that. Yeah, it is. They, they brought a lot of, they brought a lot of people just given the distance they came, and yeah, it's cool how they just have the time they put in with all those decorations, the how you bet to the trophy at the the back. That was, that's pretty neat to see. Uh, yeah, I love that. I would like to get a picture of that. Yes, yeah, as, uh, as we, as what a, what a first, first set it's been. It's been back and forth. Um, this is Boyd's biggest lead right now. They started out trailing by four, and Boyd would come back, briefly take a 12-10 lead. Then it was back and forth through the teams, but Boyd has had a couple big plays to take to take the lead right now. And of course, that being said, we got a lot of volleyball left in this first set. So now Gifford to serve again. And, you know, no matter which one of these teams takes the first set, we're going to see the same level of competition in the second. Yes, yeah, Gifford, a 97% serve percentage for her. 
as Neltner across to Caldwell. And Carly Mullins, another yeah. one. Six wow. kills for Mullins. Wow. Assist to Carly Conley. For Caldwell, I'm sorry. As Gifford now serving. She hits this one across to Kramer. And this one's going to be fought for Katie Neltner. Or Kate Neltner gets it. Caldwell goes up to Bartram from the outside. Oh. Off of Fearman. And, and they recover. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh, oh nice. Right. So, wow, Boyd County now with the biggest lead for either team in this set. As this one, that is Taylor Bartram's ninth kill in the set. Caldwell to Blevins. This goes up. Taylor Bartram across. Good Ooh, hustle. Nice coverage. Bartram wow. again, a point for her team. Wow. The boy fans are immediately on their feet. I love it. Wow. The, the Lady Lions, a huge surge as we near the end of the first set. Gifford serving now. She gets it across. It's oh, like an ace. Boyd County wins the first wow. set. By a score of 25 to 18, we're going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Whether it's a snack when you're heading out or restocking when you're heading home, Clark's Pump and Chop is the winning stop. From drinks to our awesome crispy crunchy chicken, Clark's has the best selection, the best prices, and the best staff you'll find anywhere. Clark's Pump and Chop. Return, refresh, refuel. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. important to know where your food comes from. We source the best meats from the best animals. We are passionate about the animals and the process by offering custom and USDA processing services. At AW Meat House, we are a cut above the rest. Hey Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. We are back here on My Town TV. Boyd County wins the first set by a score of 25 to 18. And look, just going through some numbers, 10 kills in this set for Taylor Bartram. Six for Carly Mullins. What play coming from them to pull this set out. And of course, we got a lot of volleyball left. Bishop Brazer showed what a good team they have in that first set as Kate Neltner led the way for them with three kills. Corin Blackburn had had two two kills to go along with the block. Um, but what a what a what a first set it was as um, we thank you for tuning in as Katie Neltner, Coach Katie Neltner took her team back to the locker room to challenge them during that timeout. And uh, there were a couple of things she wasn't happy about in that first set. I'd also like to give a big shout-out and a thank you to Andy Goble, Chris Pullum, and Jeremy Sutherland, who are handling production and camera tonight for us, as Boyd County will start off with Carly Conley serving. In for them is Conley, Lindsay Eakers, Sophia Gifford, Taylor Bartram, Allie Caldwell, and Emma Sparks for, for, for the for 
Bishop Prosser. You have Aubrey Rabhol, Rebels. You have Kate Neltner. You have have um, Matty Kramer. You have Cece Fearman. Um, Ava Thomas and in the back, it looks like that is, that is number six, Peyton Parker. As now Carly Conley opens up the set serving, she hits it across and will open up with an ace. Wow. Awesome. Second ace for the Lady Lions, Boyd with two and Bishop Brossert with one so far. As Brossert made a statement opening up the first set with Blackburn getting a big block on Taylor Bartram early as as now Rebels goes up. She goes to Neltner, tipped up as free ball coming for Boyd. <laughs> Bartram and Mullins are both so on tonight. Wow, 11 kills now for Taylor Bartram. <laughs> and I love that because Bartram is really small for such a powerful and like strong hitter. Yeah, five foot nine, yeah. I believe, and and she's and does that one that'll be a hitting error, the third on Bishop Brazer. But um, Bartram reminds me, I think I can't remember that old game. I mean, I think it's NBA Jam, like the players were jumping. You'd see fire up here below their shoes. Yes, like that's kind of what I when she jumps. Because like, that's like, wow, Bishop Brazer, and they recover. Kramer gets it across. Conley goes up. Emma Sparks batted back. And Boyd will reset things. Eakers gets it over. Free ball coming for Bishop Brosser. They go up to Parker. And off of Eakers, that'll be her first kill of the game. As now number 11, the libero, Maddie Kramer, will serve. And she hits this one across to Caldwell. And free ball coming for Bishop Prosser. They're going to go right to Blackburn, and that's partially hit at the net. And Emma Sparks across. Blackburn Oh, hits. wow. And Blackburn gets kill number three. That was a nice hit by Blackburn. She has really good leverage in the air. Yeah, like very consistent, wow. too. Definitely, and Blackburn, who has several family members that have gone on to play collegiate sports. Her two of her aunts played volleyball. Or, as, or one of her aunts played volleyball, as another played basketball. As this goes across, Eakers with it now, across, and tipped over oh, by wow. Bartram, and Neltner will keep it alive. Conley goes up. Emma Sparks, and that'll be a kill. And congratulations to Emma Sparks. Kill number 350 on wow. the season. What a great senior year. Impressive play as number 10, Sydney Clark, checks back in for Gifford. And Bartram will go at it again. And I feel like Bishop Bros are having a little bit of harder, a harder time recovering on some of those serves early. Wow. Wow. Nice dig. And oh, into the <laughs> I'm trying to say wow less now, <laughs> but it's really hard. Now in this type of atmosphere, it's, it's been really a, hard. The plays these two teams make. Yeah. It's Blackburn from the outside, and that'll be a kill. Blackburn, and only a sophomore. She averages 3.56 kills per set, 85 blocks on the year for her. What a year she's had as, as Neltner coming up to serve. Neltner with 208 kills, 62 aces on the season. And Kate Neltner hits it across to Bartram. Conley goes up, and Sydney Clark from the outside to Kramer. Blackburn, she's going to go to Hesse, who had a kill in the first set. As Carly Conley up to Sparks, tipped over, back over, but as Allie Caldwell. And they go to Blackburn, tipped up, and yeah, I think they're going to call four hits. Mm -hmm. And or no, that's uh, well. Oh, in the net, Boyd will actually get their second oh, call. Of wow! In the net, I think. Wow again. <laughs> yeah. 
Boyd with two in the net and a carry and two carries for Bishop Roslick so far as we're tied up now. Meltner gets ace number 64 on the air. She had an ace earlier. And now <laughs> another Neltner ace and right afterward another Katie Neltner timeout. <laughs> That is a very confusing thing that's happening today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, glad that you wow. had the idea to interview both of them before the game. <laughs> Set the stage for the confusion. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, I, t- I, t- I, when I, I talked with Coach Velasquez yesterday. Uh, I, I mentioned him like, so do you think she'd be cool doing an interview? I don't know if you've seen the names. And she's like, oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, and she did very well spoken, too. Yeah, and um, a great volleyball player. Uh, wow, yeah. she is good. I mean, outside hitter, right side hitter, getting aces from service. I mean, she is a very, very strong player. Yeah, she is. This, 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 is a, this Bishop Rosser group, this is a real chance for them. And she's That's also right. only a sophomore. Yeah, they have a real chance. Her, Blackburn, Rebels, to mm-hmm. some of those players, they have a real chance to build on a foundation here with such a young crew. And what a hard-fought year for them. Won both of their district matches 3-2. to two. It wasn't easy making it out of their, their district. They would go back, though, win the region pretty convincingly, and now, of course, making it to the state tournament for the first time ever as a program and of course the the two programs I think there's some similarities in that even though Boyd has a had a state appearance in 2003 after that they would have a dry spell until until 2021 when they won the won the region so um, and even though they had some good teams under Katie Neltner her first first four years there was just tough overcoming the the big one for them until last year. So tied up at five now. Kate Neltner, the player, will serve this one. She hits it across. Taylor Bartram. <laughs> Kate um, Neltner, the player. Yeah. <laughs> and Sydney Clark from the outside. Kramer gets it. And Hesse hits it across. And free ball coming for Boyd. They go to Allie Caldwell, the senior. Oh. Off of Neltner and Hesse from the outside. That's the end of the net. Fifth inning error from Rosser as Boyd will retake a 6-5 to lead. Car- Carly Mullins checking in for Lindsay Eagles. So now Emma Sparks, the senior, will serve this one. And it goes across to Kramer. Rebels goes with it. She gets it to Hesse on the corner. Way up, tipped back oh. over, and that was good awareness by Hesse. That's an error. She'll get kill number three. She has one, uh, 163 now on the year, and we're tied. And Carrie, I kind of have a feeling this is how this set's this set's gonna go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and again, Tyler and I are still on our feet. Yeah. <laughs> Won't be a lot of sitting down for this one. <laughs> it's way too nerve wracking. Blackburn, she oh, gets wow. the kill as Bishop Rossell takes her first lead of this. Such set. an effortless kill for her too. She is a great player. Five. She's good enough. I mean, I don't want to overhype the play, but honestly, right now, I mean, if she were a senior, there'd be a lot of colleges wondering. Oh, She's only absolutely. a sophomore. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And that'll be a hitting error for Boyd. Yeah, outside the poles there. Also out the back line. Oh, they're outside the poles. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be. It's still a hitting error, though. Yeah. Okay. That'll be the six. <laughs> I love when everyone can hear us talking yeah. about the stats behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Teller has learned so much about volleyball. What yeah. is that not the strangest thing for you? Just you just know all of this about this sport now? It is. It's yeah. insane. Of course kinda helps when you have a have a sixteenth region player of the year next <laughs> to you that you can learn from. So wow, what a side Bishop Rosser now a three point lead. Here in this second set, they're continuing to get it across. As Mullins from the outside, Hesse gets oh, it. Wow. Mullins to Conley to Caldwell. Off of Neltner will get it. Go get a free ball here. 
Kramer, here we go. Boyd needs to slow oh, down. They're going to go to Mullins. Make yep. that our seven for oh, Mullins. No. Well, or no, for a second. Don't they play the good. So that one goes. We've got one more Bishop Rosser point before Katie Nelton in our timeout. Unless she's out of timeouts. I'm not sure how many she's used. Yeah, that's uh, Mullins across, and Kramer gets it. They go to Blackburn at the net. Eakers, Conley goes up. Caldwell from the outside, and boy, that's going to be their eighth hitting error right now. They've had a couple go out wow. and then one in the net right now. So a five-point lead as Boyd had a strong that's opening. A, that's a big so. lead for this, for either one of those these teams. As, as Conley goes up, Mullins into the net again. Williams. You know, like I said before the game started, it's very uncommon to see Boyd get down like this. It is. They've had more, um, and a big part of that's been hitting errors in their recent stanza yeah. as Bartram from the back. It's over to Kramer. They're going to go right back to Blackburn. Oh. As Boyd now will go for it. Sydney Clark from the outside. Kate Neltner gets it. Kramer will hit it across. It's a time for Boyd, Boyd to set it up there, but they're really struggling to, to get a strong mm -hmm. attack. Essie now tipped over the net by Blackburn. Caldwell away. And that's outside right. of the poles. So Boyd, they're so the second time they've been outside the poles. Here, I'm surprised we haven't seen a timeout. Boyd looking real, real sloppy right now as number 23, Bailey Moore, the freshman, comes in. Serving will be Rebels for Rebels for, for Brosser, Bartram, across, and Blackburn with the ball. The block on the back row hit, too. And that's her second. So, and Blackburn, no, no stranger to having a block party. That is her 87th block on the season. This one goes across to Bartram. <laughs> I see what you did there, Tyler. That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> As Mullins tools the block and gets a badly needed point for the Lady Lions. Now Allie Caldwell serving as number one Carly Conley comes back in. So Caldwell will try to get a comeback going for her team here in the second set. And this one goes across to Neltman. And Blackburn tipped over to Eakers. Caldwell goes up. Sydney Clark from the outside tipped over by nice Blackburn. Yeah, as they go to Mullins again and another hitting error on Boyd. Just having a hard time keeping it in between the in the lines as that I can't one goes believe to we're Russell. seeing an eight point difference between either of these teams. That's true. I mean, that's it's, big. Blackburn across and she'll that's get an ace. Ready. I'm also very surprised that Elton hasn't called a timeout. Yes, that is the 31st ace for Blackburn on the season. And that'll be a serving error. Hopefully Boyd can use this to their advantage here and get some momentum going. We've got Gifford coming in, and she's their strongest server. Uh, we've got Taylor Bartram back in the front row alongside Mullins there, um, who I will not ever be leaving out again after <laughs> the first set. Serving, it goes to the outside and looks like it's outside the poles, I believe. Yeah. So Gifford will have another. Uh, Hesse from the outside tipped over. Caldwell nice gets it. Conley runs up. Mullins across to. Rebels goes up and she sets up. Oh, nice dig by Gifford. Wow. And Bartram uses that opportunity but kept alive as that would be a hitting error on Russell. So 
So now Gifford serving again. Gifford who concluded the first set with an ace. Bowie County won that one 25-18. And make that another one for Gifford. Bowie chipping in a little bit. Got it back to five. Gifford across to Neltner. It goes up. Parker, that one goes way back to Eakers. Caldwell's going to set up Mullins. Tipped over to Kramer. Rebels gets it, and that will be... We're going to see a timeout. Yep. Yep, timeout. Coach Valeskis yeah, has seen enough, and she definitely wants to keep her team in the lead here, given the run they've been on. So, wow. That... Honestly, Boyd, even on this run, they've looked a little bit out of sorts mm-hmm. right now. But, of course, Bishop Ross, are, wow, what a program. Oh, absolutely. Yes, I well, honestly, I hate that they're not in our region because we're not going to get to see them play very much after this. That's true, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, going to be a, tough, you know. Yeah, that's true. But I am very thankful that my town is able to – bring coverage of the state tournament today. We have um, a lot of people watching at home, and we really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in with us. It, it means a lot to Tyler and I, and it means a lot to our crew and our company, and it's just a, a really awesome thing that we have here, and we get to share with all of you. And some Bishop Ross are coming from the 10th region, a region that actually produced the state basketball champion last season in men's, and George Rogers Clark, and now, of course, that that school is also where the state tournament will be held later this week. The quarters, semis, and the finals as this is it across by Thomas. Caldwell goes up to Bartram. Wow. <laughs> They're going to call her under the net again. With such a, a strong approach there, it, it would be really hard to stop your body from that forward moving motion. Yeah, I mean, that's Boyd's third in the net penalty as they go up to Mullins from the outside off of Hesse. And Kramer gets it to Neltner. That one goes across. Well, it's going to be in the net for a second. Yeah, that's a nice Mullins adjustment by Neltner. Seventeen points on the board in a volleyball game is a really big turning point for a team. This is where the other team either, you know, really pushes and catches up or we see them kind of lag behind. So this is a turning point for sure. And so that goes up. Neltner from the outside. Dig by nice Gifford. Dig by Gifford and a Conley huge hit by up. Neltner. Yeah, Conley across. Kramer goes up. Neltner from the outside. Big by Mullins. Caldwell's going to set up. Bartram hit back at the net. Kept alive. Oh, wow. Nice recovery. recovery. Wow. What a great job they are doing on Bartram's hits. As that one stays nice up. Nice save. Wow. Parker across and that one goes out. Good idea. That was a good idea. <laughs> Now the senior Mullins will serve. Mullins, who is our class president and also heavily involved in Key Club, one of the regional governors. She works with about eight chapters. And Sparks across to Kramer. Rebels goes up. She goes to Neltner, partially tipped to the net. Neltner oh. is killing this offense. Yes, <laughs> 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 I know Boyd County is thinking, let's get her out of this spot. Let's rotate yeah. this. Now, four kills now for Neltner. As I mean, a, she's relentless. Awesome. So now number 15, Ava Thomas, the, the senior, will serve. Thomas hits it across, and Boyd's going to go to Sparks from the middle. And all the way up. Cross Eakers with it. She goes to Caldwell. Bartram and... Oh, they saved it. Wow. That is a good defense. Sparks. Oh, good. Sparks. Sparks. Sparks play. That was. Like I said before, I, I always admire a hitter that has the approach in the set for a flashy kill, but 
always goes with a smart move and something they know they're, they're going to get a point on. Yes, and also a big thank you and a shout-out to our father, Chris Sparks, who's been a big help for us. Sparks is a walking stats machine. Yeah. He's provided us a lot of help this year. As Emma Sparks, that one. That was in. Cross court. Wow. They, Boy County is closing this gap. Yes, it's right now is calmly. We are pacing over here. <laughs> it is a There's an ace. Wow. Katie Nilner is the calmest and coolest human being. Just like her, her team is making an incredible comeback right now, and she's just kind of chilling over there. Yeah, she's kept that. As the, I was surprised she didn't call a timeout when they went down 12 to 6. I know. Now, what a, what a showing that's been, but wow, what a. Oh, what a match. Just looking at, you know, we were talking about back to the player, Kate Nelder. Um, we were talking about her, and, of course, this really says something when you have a player like Blackburn on the team, second on the team in kills, aces, and digs as a sophomore. Wow. She is a strong player. I mean, such a strong player. Um, I think almost all of Bishop, Bishop Rossard's team is going to be uh, – playing at the next level for sure, especially being such a young team and already being this good. Yes, they, they do not show like some of the, like sometimes you see a young team and they'll be, and they'll be inconsistent. Yes, and they haven't shown, timid. shown that yet. Not gonna, at all. So now Carly Conley again on the serve, Rebels with it. She goes to Neltner, blocked back at the net. Good Kept coverage. alive though. And Kramer across to Eakers, Carly Conley. Goes back to Sparks again. This one's across and gets it. They go to Neltner, tipped over. Carly Con Conley gets a call well. Bartram, soft tip. Oh, nice call. I think it's interesting that both Conley and um, Caldwell can set. So that's an ace. That's three aces. Another ace for her. Conley. Yeah. Conley, who opened up the second set with an ace. That took Boyd to the lead here. Wow. What a comeback. Yes, it's number There was an eight point deficit at one point. That was yeah, very impressive as, as number 14, Keller, checking back in. It was 16 to, hey, 16 to 7. Uh, uh, as that one's across, and Parker gets that one. And Blackburn checking back in. So definitely what I want if I'm Bishop Rosser. That's now number 11, Maddie Kramer, the, the junior serving as we are deep into the second set. This one goes across to Caldwell. Blackburn with a slam dunk tip. And that's effortless. kill number seven for her. That's, that's like, as a hitter, the absolute best kill is one that the other team set. Now Kramer across. He goes to Gifford. Conley. Emma Sparks off of Kramer. Kept up, though, and Neltner will get it across. Free ball coming for Boyd. As Sparks off of Kramer. Nice oh. dig. Wow, taking a hit as Neltner. Oh, they saved it. Oh, kept up. Yeah. Free ball. Wow. And they're going to go right to Blackburn. Back the back. Neltner tipped over. Sparks is going to set up Caldwell. Yes, get that ball off the net. <laughs> <laughs> now Neltner tipped back. we go to Eakers. Conley to Bartram. That's a kill. <laughs> 13 kills for Taylor Bartram so far in this match. <laughs> Bartram will again serve. She hits it across and an ace. The ace count Boyd with six and Bishop Rossert with three. And Boyd really heating up on the serving in this set. Uh, yes. Carry. And they had to. They had to rise to the occasion because that was a big, 
big difference in the scoreboard for a while. And it's Boyd who trailed 16 to seven as Blackburn from the outside. Oh. That goes off. Oh, outside of the pole. Oh. And that will be the second time that they've been been hit for being outside the pole was he goes back across Bartram. Conley just that's a kill. Oh my gosh. And the what Sparks a are out. The sparks are starting to fly as Emma oh. Sparks gets her fifth kill. Tyler, you are killing it on putts tonight. <laughs> she's got her well she said this late in this set she sure made some huge plays to help her yes. team come back as it's now 23 to 20 and this one's hit across and starts. and there's another oh my god she's on fire wow boyd county on a 17 to 4 run everyone is on their feet right now i mean look at this crowd amazing Neltner from the outside to Conley. Caldwell goes up. Sparks. And the she will finish it off. What Unbelievable. Boyd, an 18 to 4 run. Wow. To close out the second set to win 25 to 20. We're going to be right back. You're watching the first round of the KHSAA State Volleyball Tournament here on My Town TV. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. When you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. And we're trying to help you make the right call. Here at Infusion Solutions, one of the things that we're most proud of is the relationship that we develop with our patients. From the people on the phone to the delivery drivers, I mean, these people are a part of my life. They take care of me. I would recommend Infusion Solutions to anybody. Discover what we're all about right now at Infusion Solutions. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We are back here on My Town TV. Boyd County wins the second set 25 to 20. They won the first set 25 to 18. Boyd, who trailed 16 to 7 in that second set. We just saw athletic director Pete Fraley walk by down front. And of course, a lot of a lot of hardware being collected for the Boyd Trophy case this fall. As of course the uh, mm -hmm. Lady Lions who have, and volleyball who have won the district in the 16th region. The men's soccer team who won the district and finished up as the winner of the 16th region. Um, football team has won their first district title in in 15 years. And now the, and the women's soccer team, although they didn't make it out of their district, they are in a loaded district in which they are definitely a top five team in the region. Unfortunately, somebody had to miss the regional tournament on that end, but the women's soccer team, an outstanding job by Coach Pennington as well. Logan Price with the men's soccer team, Evan Ferguson with the football team, and of course, Katie Neltner with the with the, the volleyball team. 
as now getting ready to start this third set, number 11, Maddie Kramer, the junior, coming in to serve as she hits this one across to Conley, and Bartram will hit it across back to Kramer. This goes up, and Blackburn. Oh, wow. Nice dig by Caldwell. And bad. That one, Sparks will. Or looks like that's going to be a two call. And Carrie, that is actually the first two call I've noted for either team tonight. So this one's hit across as Blackburn from the outside will oh. get the kill. And congratulations to number 13, Corin Blackburn, for Bishop Brossert, her 400th kill on the season. <laughs> As a sophomore. Wow. <laughs> As a sophomore. That is awesome. Yes. I think we see a D1 athlete tonight. She is a special yeah. player as Neltner, That's another amazing. special player serving. And yeah, from the right side, Taylor Bartram. That's kill number 14, Carly Conley on the assist, Bartram to serve. But In my head, every time that Taylor Bartram does that, it's like she's telling all mm -hmm. of us that she will not be going into the back row without finishing off in the mm -hmm. front row with a kill. <laughs> That's true. That's her routine. That's what she does. As, as Blackburn goes oh, nice across, uh, Eakers kept up. Sydney Clark from the outside. And oh, they saved it. Oh, wow. As Hesse, good, good job to that. Emma Sparks picking up Kill Blackburn. He's up off. The boy with a three to one lead early. Uh, looking at Corner, her mother played volleyball at Alabama. Her aunt played mm. volleyball at Georgia. Another aunt played basketball. Or, and that was a phenomenal kill from the right side, cross court. And, oh, and she's going to call her under the net there. And that's going to be the boy, boy county wow. point. Wow. So boy, it's a big Oh, one. that stinks. That was such a pretty kill. Wow. And it's our fault for jinxing her and talking yeah. about how awesome she was. <laughs> and it's on is, us. That's, that's, a, that's a my time loss. Yeah. <laughs> and Bartram goes. Blackburn from the middle. As Conley goes up to Sparks Ooh. off the net. But yeah. that'll be a point for. She didn't quite get a hand on that. Uh, yeah, but Blackburn, gosh, just looking at the list. That coach. coach Coach Velasquez sent me two uncles played basketball at NKU. Her aunt played softball at NKU. You'd like to see that also oh, at NKU. <laughs> My town, big NKU people as uh, Chris's daughter goes there and I went there. Yeah, it's Hesse from the outside to, and Sydney Clark from the outside off of Hesse. Kramer with it now. Hesse hits it across to Bartram. Conley goes up and that's out. I think that was or they're gonna call it, that's gonna be out. So now serving will be Aubrey Rebels. And she is only an eighth grader. And of course she's played some excellent time at the setter position in the absence of Savannah Sider, who's one of the two seniors on this team, and she's been out due to injury. What as a great Blackburn. spot there for Blackburn. And Blackburn, that is kill number nine as Coach Katie Neltner calls a timeout. So we're tied at four here in this third set, and great atmosphere it's been to today here at Boyd County High School. The situation right now, Boyd won the first two sets, 25-18 and 25-20. Take note that they trailed 16-7 in the second set before coming back to win that one on an 18-4 run. And now the third set. Of course, Boyd, if they win this one, they will advance to the quarterfinal of the state tournament to be held this, this week at George Rogers Park High School. They will play the, the, the winner of this game will play the winner of West Jessamine and Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Meanwhile, Bishop Brozer, who trails two sets to zero right now, if they can 
come back, if they can win this set, they'll have the opportunity to take it to a fourth set where if they w should they win that one, we'll have the opportunity to try to win the match in five, which we saw one of those last week between mm -hmm. Raceland and Ashland. And, oh, what a match that was. We um, talked a little bit earlier about all the hardware that Boyd has added to their trophy case this season. And I would like to apologize to all of the girls' golf team. We forgot about them. They went to semi-state this year. Morgan Kennedy going to state, um, representing Boyd County as an individual. Um, so, sorry, girls' golf. Um, as a, that's a sport that always gets looked over to. And as a volleyball player, I should realize that and say something. So. Oh, Couldn't end good. the broadcast without bringing up the girls' golf team. Yeah, it's a good catch as Hesse gets kill number four. The junior having a nice game from the outside, and now Blackburn will go back to serve with it tied at five here in the third set. Blackburn hits it across to Eakers. Conley goes up. Allie Caldwell from the outside. This one going back and forth here. Number 10, Sydney Clark batted back at the net. Nice coverage. Oh, we haven't oh. seen a lot of sets like that this game, yeah. which I'm surprised. Yeah, good dive from Neltner as Caldwell across. And sure. That's a kill. Conley with another assist. And Caldwell, the senior, will now serve. Caldwell across the net to Neltner. Rebels goes up. She gets it to Hesse from the outside. And Conley oh. battle at the net. Kramer to Hesse. Soft tip. Bartram good hustle as they go to Sydney Clark from the outside. Down the line and that is in. Kill number Sydney five. Clark also having a really good night, isn't she? Good to see her back from that, that ankle she tweaked in the regional tournament. I know. That was sad. Mm -hmm. I hate seeing any player get hurt. Yeah, she, she put so much, so much effort into this program. Mm -hmm. Clark, who has well over 100 kills on the season for the Lady Lions. And Hesse across, chips the net. And Sydney Clark gets hold over to Neltner. Goes up to Hesse from the outside, dig by Eakers. Caldwell to Mullins. Ooh, oh. nice coverage. Wow. As Mullins hit back up the net. And oh, my gosh. These girls are battling. Wow. Oh, Gelder with the dive. Oh, tough break there. Wow. I mean, what are you going to do with that, you know? That was, that was a, gosh, some big plays. And I, I'm amazed at the play of Maddie Kramer at Libero. Just some of the hard hits that she has been able to keep alive for her team. <laughs> yeah, she is having an awesome game, too. And that is a player that I want in my bunker. Hesse gets kill number five. And Hesse will also go back to serve. A fun fact about her, her and Aub Aubrey Rebels are cousins. Rebels, the eighth grader who stepped up in the absence of... Wow. Holly Mullins. Powerful kill. Nine kills. She is senior. such a good hitter. It's number 14, Sophia Gifford checking in for the Lady Lions, a senior. And for Bishop Brossert, number one, Reagan Golden, a junior, checking in. And again, a big shout out to Andy Goble, Chris Bullum, and Jeremy Sutherland who are with us here on camera and production as Gifford goes across. This one's hit up, way up. They go to Neltner from the outside. Good block. And oh, and they got it. Wow. They saved it. What? What a recovery as Mullins tips it over to the corner. Yes. You know what? She started an approach there, and she saw a hole and completely switched up what she was doing. Wow. Stopped her approach mid-step. Switched to a push. Smart. Yes, is now... Now Gifford serving for the Lady Lions. She hits it across to Neltner. And Kate Neltner tips it across to Lindsay Eakers. 
Allie Caldwell and Bartram. Another kill. 15 kills for Taylor Bartram. <laughs> Unbelievable. And a timeout taken by Bishop Brosser. So, Barry Boyd up 11-6 to six right now. If, you, if you're Bishop Brosser, what do you do to, to get back in this set and try to take this to four? I think the most important thing for them right now is to remember that they are not down and out right now. There might be a little bit of a, a point deficit on the board there, but we saw Boyd come back in the last game. It can happen, and this team is so good. They are so well-rounded, um, and they're here to fight, and I know that they can, and I hope that they know they can. So. Yes, that's very true. As, um, as, yes, and... and as it's uh, buoyed up five right now. I know there Bishop Bras are looking to come away with this Boyd who's lost only 13 sets all season in 40 games. Of course, Bishop Bras are who made, who's made some great improvements over the course of the year, 15-2 and two in their last 13 games, 27-13 and 13 overall. As now Gifford coming in for the Lady Lions to serve. And Gifford across to Golden. As they go up, Kate Neltner from the outside. Oh, nice save. Great swing by Neltner, too. And back to Neltner again off of Gifford. And Mullins, free ball cover. Oh, Oh, no, that's going to be a miscommunication for a point. (laughs) That's going to be a free ball kill. Those girls ran into one another. They were not letting that not go back over the net. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Sophia Gifford now. Boyd's doubled them up here. As that chips the net, goes over to Neltner. Neltner across to Bartram. Caldwell's going to go back. Oh, powerful hit. Great dig. That is one tough libero. Uh, (laughs) That'll be a hit. She is. Maddie Kramer, that's number 11, the libero we're talking about, a junior at Bishop Rosser. Yeah. And that will be a service error. Not many of those tonight. Two no, we haven't seen very many. Bishop Brosser at one for Boyd. And now Mullins will serve. And the senior hits it across. Gets it, goes back to Neltner. And that That's out. will be a hitting error. That's the eighth for, for Bishop Brosser. Boyd has 13 on the night. Bishop Rossert wanted a uh, call there, a touch call there, but didn't get it. They go to Parker from the outside, and that goes into the net. So Boyd now up 15-7 to here in the third set. As Mullins, ser- the senior, serves again, and that will be a second service error. She's a powerful arm. She does. Really powerful arm. And we see that so much in her hitting style. So now Maddie Kramer up to serve again. And she hits it across to Eakers. Caldwell goes up to Bartram from the outside off of Kramer. And that'll be Bartram's 16th kill. 16 kills in the state tournament. Oh, what a. As a junior. That says a lot. Amazing. As this one goes up, and back to Neltner, hard hit and out. He's hit some hitting errors, plaguing Bishop Rosser in this quarter, and or in this set, as this is a the big it ties the biggest lead for mm-hmm. either team. Rosser was up 16 to seven in the second set. As they go back to Blackburn, across to Eakers. Conley comes up, they go to Taylor Bartram, and she'll get killed, number 17. And now Carly Conley will serve. She serves it across to Kramer, and Blackburn off of Conley. Very strong kill. Congratulations to Blackburn, that's her 10th kill on the match as Hesse checks back in. Out will go Golden. Reagan Golden, who also have noted, um, writes her own songs and plays the guitar. 
as she goes out for oh. that one. So I love yeah. that. Creative, yeah. smart, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there's Rebels with it. She goes up to Hesse from the outside. And that was just out. So Seen a lot of mistakes here from that a we lot of hitting errors early on yeah. in these sets. Those hitting errors really hurting here late for Bishop Prosser. Has now buoyed up 10, the biggest lead for either team. And Taylor Bartram will serve. Strong pass. And Hesse, oh. free ball coming for Boyd. Conley's going to go up to Sparks. That's a kill. Make that 10 kills now for, so Boyd with three players with 10 kills. Bartram with 17, Mullins with 11, and Sparks with 10 mm. as the timeout taken. But, wow, so Boyd really, really taking it up a notch in this set. They as they did. were, they concluded the last set, which they won 25-20 to 20 on an 18-4 an to 4 run. And now here in the third, they have come out and just really put on some big plays. But that being said, on Bishop Rossert's end, a lot of hitting errors that are yeah. happening. They are. They're, they're likely tired and, you know, getting down to the third set here and not, not coming out and starting as strong as they'd like to. I mean, that's a, that's a tough thing to overcome emotionally, too. So um, I think slowing down, playing one point at a time here, setting up their attacks. They're in a good rotation and uh, using that to their advantage to hang on to this, hang on to the game. Go Bartram to serve now for Boyd County. She hits it across, and that'll be a service error, the third for the Lady Lions. As this one goes across to Bartram, Eakers with it now. Clark from the outside, and that'll. That's out. Uh, Boyd's 15th hitting error. So a good little stanza if you're Bishop Rosser. Now Rebels will, will serve. And runs across to Bartram. Conley, she goes up to Sparks from the outside. Rebels gets it. Neltner going up. Free ball coming for Boyd. Caldwell goes up. She's going to go back to Sparks. And Sparks are turning into fireworks as 11 <laughs> kills. Now for Emma Sparks. Tyler, you're the one on fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We are four points away for boys, seeing them continue on in the state tournament. Sparks across to Neltner. Reynolds gets it. She goes up to and hit back at the net. Hesse is up from the outsides. Thomas Sparks goes up calmly. She's going to set up Mullins, who tips it over to Hesse. And back to Blackburn. Bartram gets it. Conley's going to go up to Clark. Batted back. Oh, nice recovery, Mullins Clark. Mullins going to go back to Clark again. And, and, and oh, 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 she'll get the kill. Five kills for Sydney Clark. And She's had a great game. Yes, he has. The boy has now doubled him up 22-11 here late in this set. Wow. Three points to go. And Sparks across to Neltner. Swing goes up. Blackburn from the outside. Conley to Caldwell is going to go back to Mullins. And off That's of a Blackburn. kill. And Mullins will get to kill number 12. Sparks across, and she'll get the ace. Wow, we are one point away from seeing the Lady Lions continue on to the second round of the Volleyball State Tournament in 2022. Wow. A huge third awesome. set for Boyd County as Sparks across to Neltner. Every fan is on their feet. And Blackburn across to Sparks, and oh. the point is Blackburn gets it for, for, for the Lady Mustangs. And 
Blackburn. She'll save it. Now, nice hustle, boy. Hustle as Parker now across. Way back to Bartram. Conley's going to go up to Mullins. Bad oh, back. I think that was Parker that got that one. Bishop Rosser is not letting them go out without a fight. And that's awesome. Yeah. Especially Love for seeing such a that, young yeah. team. Great effort by these young ladies as Absolutely. Blackburn across. As they go up, Mullins from the outside. And that's a kill. kill. She oh, will close the night. Gets the game winning. Wow. Boyd as they win the, the set 25 to 13 and will advance to their second consecutive Elite Eight in the KHS wow. and the State Tournament. Amazing. What a win for <laughs> Boyd County. And Congratulations, girls. Now, wow. And, so cool. And, and what? We will yeah. not see the last of Bishop Rosser in the state tournament. This is their first time in the state tournament in their school history for girls volleyball. And we will absolutely see them again in the state tournament next year. This team is so strong. Those girls are so young and they're so talented. Um, I'm I'm really proud of everyone. <laughs> yes, I an am. outstanding run by Coach Coach Velasquez and mm-hmm. Bishop Rosser and what they've been able to do with their team and it's been an incredible run for them. They they finished the year at 27 and 14, but an appearance in the state tournament, and also a big big shout out to their seniors, number 15, Ava Thomas, uh, uh, just an outstanding player, and what she's been able to accomplish for that program. And Thomas, who has 70 kills, 26 blocks on the year, 62 aces, and also to. Also, a, a shout out to to Savannah Sider, number 19 for them, who's injured tonight. But what a year she had, and mm-hmm. also a great mentor to Reb Holes, who's come in as an eighth grader and done a great job for 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 Bishop Brosser. But Boy County wins the first round. They will advance to play here later this week, which we're going to take a quick break and come back for post game analysis and also have more information on the state tournament. We'll be right back. You're watching My Town TV. Whether it's a snack when you're heading out or restocking when you're heading home, Clark's Pump and Shop is the winning stop. From drinks to our awesome crispy crunchy chicken, Clark's has the best selection, the best prices, and the best staff you'll find anywhere. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. We are back here on My Town TV and a big shout out to the 802 that turned it, tuned in and watched tonight. <laughs> that's unbelievable, wow. isn't it? That is. That's a blessing. Wow. Thank you all so as, much. As the brackets are underway. First off, we'll just run through each game. Number At the top, no scores on North Oldham and McCracken County or Elizabethtown and Bowling Green. 
Boyd will advance to play Thursday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Dunbar, who I believe only has one loss in the state of Kentucky. That should be a, a great match for, for Boyd. And then on the bottom end of the bracket, Whitley County defeats Wolf County 3-1. to one. They'll play Thursday at 5, thir- 5 o'clock at George Rogers Clark. Unfortunately, our Eastern Kentucky sister school, Paintsville, lost in three sets to Notre Dame, 25-21, 25-11, and 25-21. And no score on Madisonville, North Hopkins, and Mercy. And Assumption defeated Owensboro Catholic pretty handily in three sets at the very bottom of the bracket. So be sure to stay tuned for updates on the scores. But that is what we are going to see Boyd advancing to play this Thursday at 2 o'clock against, or against, um, against Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Ironically, who they ended up playing in men's soccer. Um, also oh, playing really? them. At, yeah, they, they, Dunbar actually had a nationally ranked team. And wow. men's soccer would win that match. A boy gave them a run for their money. They Dunbar would beat them two to zero in soccer, but um, it's going to be should be a great match and definitely going to be a challenge. But hopefully, one that Boyd will have the opportunity to overcome. But wow, what a what a night tonight! The only thing I was really watching for um, Taylor Bartram had 17 kills, but two more. And she would have had 350 on the year, but of <laughs> she'll course, get there. That's, no yeah. doubt, no doubt in my mind. She'll what get a there. game for her! Gosh, you and know, her wow. Watching them play is such a joy. This team is phenomenal. Um, I'm so excited for them to move on and to represent the 16th region. They've worked so hard for that, and um, just I mean, in the second set, that comeback. Um, It's just a testament for their resilience, and I think it's really cool that we all get to watch that um, because they're just kids, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's it's really cool. I'm so sad that this closes out our broadcasting for the season, and that's so sad. Tyler and I will be at the game on Thursday, but we will not be broadcasting. Um, But I did want to say thank you, Tyler. Um, Thank you so much to our crew. And all of our sponsors that make this possible. Um, My Town means so much to me and is such an asset and a resource for students to watch themselves play and get better and send footage to coaches. And um, we've seen a lot of kids go play at the next level, and the highlights that they used to get there were from My Town's broadcasting. So I just, I'm so thankful that we have this in our area, and it's so cool to be a part of it. Um, I look forward to many, many seasons to come of broadcasting and um, 802 viewers tonight on this game is incredible. And I know it's only going to grow because all the girls are going to go home and watch it and their parents will watch it and the coaches will watch it um, and probably rewatch it. And uh, it's it's really cool. And this is something that um, I didn't get to have when I was in school and I would have killed for. So I just appreciate everybody that has a hand in it like i said especially our sponsors it is such a big deal and it is a huge roi um return on your investment for um being a part of my town so thank you all so much and thanks to the viewers and the players because i mean gosh we would have nothing to watch if you guys didn't let us come and set up and interview you and learn about you and Um, We're so proud of each girl that participated in this game tonight. We're also so proud of every girl that plays in the 16th region volleyball um, area. And it's just, it's a really cool thing. So I could ramble on for hours, but I'm sure you guys are tired of listening to me. So (laughs) Tyler, I'll turn it to you. Well, thank you, Carrie. What What a year it's been here in volleyball. And, of course, be sure to keep updated on your Boyd County Lady Lions as they go on this Thursday to play against Paul Lawrence Dunbar in the quarterfinal of the state tournament. And I want to say, I don't think Carrie could have said that any better. So I think we'll get ready to close out. But we thank you all for tuning in. For Andy Goble, Jeremy Sutherland, Chris Pullen, Carrie Huffman, I'm Tyler Rowland. Good night, everybody. Good night.